We urge you, come on board. We, we, we help one another so that these people do not come back. We are trying to discourage recidivism. We are working with judiciary. Yesterday we met some of the judicial officers at the Butali Probation Office, and we are encouraging them to adopt, to make use of the probation orders, to make use of the community service orders, uh, so that more of our remandees, like here in Kakamega, Maine, more than half, in fact, double the number of the, the people in this prison are remandees. It is vitally important that we reduce these numbers so as to decongest the prisons. If we make use of those alternative methods, as well as alternative dispute resolution, we will decongest these prisons. We are working very hard to ensure that we provide all the tools for the vocational training. In these prisons, I have seen we are providing training, vocational training in the areas of welding, carpentry, tailoring, uh, and, and, and computers. However, we also wish to call upon all stakeholders because I am aware that many, many manufacturers, many schools, especially the international schools, many hardware sh shops have CSR component in their institutions. We urge them to come on board to help us, even as we are adopting a one government approach of working with the other state departments to help us, especially the TVETs, the crop department, the livestock department, the industry, industry department, as well as MSC departments. If you can assist us, especially in helping us tool these vocational centers, all prisons provide vocational training. If you can assist us, you give us equipment in all these sectors, as well as you come and train. This is vitally important because as a State Department, having moved away from mere punishment to rehabilitation, we need to equip these inmates so that when they go out there and take advantage of the Hustler Fund to start off, they need to earn a living. And they cannot earn a living if they have no skills.